Welcome to our Simply Homes customer web portal video on how to set up a check-in. In this video, your client's care team will learn how to schedule new check-ins and update existing check-ins, ensuring that your clients receive the right amount of support. To get started, go to simply-home.com and click Login in the top right corner. Then choose the Check-in Service Portal. To access the web portal, you will need to be authorized as an administrator or client manager. If you do not yet have a username and password from Simply Home, please contact us through our website. Once you log in, the dashboard will give you an overview of the status of all check-ins for all the clients you support. To create a check-in, search for your client by name. Type their name into the search field in the top left, or click on the Clients tab in the left sidebar navigation to see a complete list of clients. Select your client. Next, click on the Check-in tab. If the client already has any check-ins scheduled, you will see those here. If you would like to edit one of those existing check-ins, simply click on the Edit icon. You can also deactivate an existing check-in by clicking on the green toggle icon. To add a new check-in, click on the plus sign in the bottom right corner of the page. Choose the time you want the responder to show up along with how much flexibility the responder should have before and after the check-in time. Select the days you want the check-in to take place. Click Continue to save and move to the next step. If you would like to add location verification to a check-in, you must have a beacon set up and assigned to the client. If a beacon is set up and assigned to that client, you can select it here. If no beacon is set up for that client, you will receive a message that no beacons are available. Once you have selected a beacon, you must select the beacon's range. This is how close a user must be to the beacon in order to complete the check-in with the Responder app. There are two options, one within the same room or two within the same home. Select the contacts who will receive alerts when a check-in is due. Then select contacts who will receive alerts when a check-in is late. These contacts are alerted by email or text or both when the check-in becomes due or is late. Contacts receiving check-in is now due and check-in is now late alerts will also receive an alert if a check-out is late. Click Continue to save and move on to the next step. The next step is optional. If you would like to assign tasks to a responder, select Yes and then type in each task separately, clicking the blue plus button each time you are ready to add a new task. If you assign tasks, then a checkout will automatically be required for the responder. The checkout time window allows you to put an expiration time on completing the task. The checkout time frame starts as soon as the responder checks in. Finally, review the information and click Add Check-in, which will save the new check-in and direct you back to the complete list of check-ins for this client.